Okay, you're going to work on this another day today. You need to make three lines. And here's what I have on top. Everything starts off on top because tomorrow, in the next video, you have some stuff you put on bottom, but not now. So x of fifth times x of seventh. So I just write x down. Now there's two x's, so that means I add their powers. 5 plus 7 is 12. Okay, bring it over. And then you can't simplify that, so that's the answer, x to the 12th. Okay, so I just have a factor of x. There's only one of them, so there's no, there's no plus, but you do have to take the 3 times the 4, that's 12. Okay, just leave that where it's at, and that's simplified. So the first two are pretty easy. Now the next one, there's more to them. So I have a factor of 7 a factor of x, and then another x factor, so I know I'm going to have to add on the x's. So 7, 1 times 3 is 3, x, 3 times 3 is 9, and then plus 6, okay? 9 plus 6 is 15. Okay, just bring those over, 7 to the 3rd times x to the 15th. Now I can simplify the 7 to the 3rd, I can take 7 times 7 times 7. 343 times x to the 15th power. Okay, so I have a factor of x, a factor of 7, and another factor of x, so I just put a plus sign with that x. So we know there's two x factors. The first one I take the 3 times the 2, that's 6, and then the second one we just write 3 down because it's not in parentheses. So 6 plus 3 is 9. Now the seven's to the first, but it's not in a parentheses, so I just write the one down. I don't make the rainbow and multiply. Okay, so we have x to the ninth times seven to the first. Now I can figure out seven to the first. It's just a seven. So I put seven and then the x to the ninth after. Okay, next one. Bases, we have 4 times x times y. 4xy, and then another y factor, so that'll be plus on the y. So 4, one that's in parentheses, so don't write the 1 down. you got to take 1 times 3. That's 3. Now this is my only x factor, so I go 2 times 3, that's 6. Now remember, we have to add on the y's because there was two factors. So 1 times 3 is 3, plus 4. Okay, um, so we got 4 to the 3rd times x to the 6 times y to the 7th. Now I can figure out 4 to the 3rd. That would be 4 times 4 times 4. That's going to be 64. Done, okay. Okay, so I have a factor of 5, a factor of x, a factor of y, another factor of x, so I put a plus there, and another factor of y, so I put a plus there. So 5, I just put the 1 down and take 1 times 4, that's 4. Then here's my first x. I would take 2 times 4, that's 8. Then the other x, I would have to take 4 times 3, which is 12. So it's 8 plus 12, which is 20. Now the y, there's two, here's the first y, it's to the third, but it's in parentheses, so 3 times 4 is 12, and 3 times 3 would be 9, so 12 plus 9 is 21. So I have 5 to the 4th, x to the 20th, y to the 21st. Well, I can figure out the 5 to the 4th. I can take 5 times 5 times 5 times 5, again, that's the only one I can really figure out, okay? 625. And these are letters. I can't figure those out because I don't know what the letters are. Times x to the 20th times y to the 21st. Okay, we have a factor of 6, a factor of x, a factor of y, a factor of 5, a factor of x, so I just put a plus, and another factor of y. 
right. So let's talk about our six. One times two is two. Now there's two factors of x. That's why we put a plus sign so we can add their powers. So three times two is six. And then the other one, three times two is six. So I take six plus six. That would be 12. Now we have to add powers on the y's because there's two of them here and here. So this y is to the second, but it's in parentheses. So two times two is four. And 4 times 2 is 8. So that makes 12. 5, 1. 1 times 2 is 2. So all these stay where they are. <coughs> okay, I can simplify that and that. Put those first. So 6 to the second means 6 times 6. That's 36. 5 to the second means 5 times 5, and that's 25. So I put times 25. Now the letters I can't simplify, so I just put those in the back. Thirty-six times twenty-five is nine hundred. Okay, last problem. So we have a factor of two a factor of x, a factor of y, a factor of 7, then another factor of x, well I've already written x, so that means I'm just going to add right there. So 2, 1 times 3 is 3, then x, there's two x factors here and here. So 4 times 3 is 12, and then 2 times 2 is 4. Remember if it's in parentheses you have to times. 12 plus 4 is 16, so x to the 16th power. That's a 16 right there. Now y, this is my only y factor. It's to the third, but it's in parentheses, so you can't write 3 down. you got to take 3 times 3, that's 9. And then 7, one time, remember, put a 1 if it doesn't have a power. 1 times 2 is 2. So you got 2 to the third. You got x to the 16th, y to the ninth, and 7 to the second. I can simplify those, so 2 times 2 times 2 would be 8. Next to it, I find 7 to the second, and that's 49. Then you have your variables at the end, so times x to the 16th times y to the 9th, and 8 times 49 is going to be 392. Okay, there it is.